What's up, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, here with a special premiere video. I got a little prize in the mail today. We're going to unbox this at the end. You see the great craftsmanship by YouTube. But, you know, I can't believe this actually happened. Like, I can't believe I actually hit 100,000 subscribers. It's been an amazing journey, man. And I know in the grand scheme of life, like it's what's a big deal? You know, 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, like who cares? <laughs> the grand scheme of things, it really isn't a big deal. But when you are a content creator, especially a sports content creator, because let's face it, the niche on YouTube for sports uh, content creators is very small. It's usually reactionary videos, uh, you know, to celebrities and 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 video games and all that stuff. Those are the ones that get like all the views. For a sports content creator to reach a hundred thousand subscribers, um, you know, it, it, it was a lot of hard work. It's, it's an honor because it, it isn't easy to get there. So I put in a lot of long nights, and then um, every every moment of it was worth it, man. I I got a few people that I want to thank um especially you know um it's just amazing i i can't believe i actually got this <laughs> you know it's funny because i got to like 5k it was like oh my god i had 5000 i hit 10000 i did a video i'm like oh my god i'm at 10000 like it was such a big deal and then 20 and 25 and 50 and i was like oh you're halfway there and then you're 60000 70000 75 80 90 Got to 95, and it was like I was treading water for months. It just never felt like I was going to get here. But thanks to each and every one of you watching this, not watching this, that has subscribed, all 101,000 plus of you who wants to listen to some loudmouth Italian scream at the camera for 10 minutes or do crazy games, reaction streams, you know, whatever. Um, I appreciate it extremely much. There's a few people that I definitely especially want to thank. And the first person, that I want to thank is someone I should have thanked a long time ago. Um, without this person, none of what I do is possible. Nothing is possible without this person who's very special to me. That's Mrs. Bad Dog. How great of a woman do you got to be to put up with me for 22 years? My wife is a dynamo, man. Um, not just with YouTube, but like in everything that I do, no matter what I do, no matter how you know much time I spend on it, no matter how dedicated to it, whether I succeed or fail, she's always been behind me 100%. That her support means the world to me. You know, she gave me a fantastic son. My wife is such a great mother and such a great supporter in everything that I do. They always say behind a great man is a great woman. Well, behind this man is a greater woman. I feel like I have an incredible work ethic. I always have. I, I work very hard everything I do because I am not in the middle. I either go all the way or I don't go at all. That's just the way I am. My wife is a way harder worker than me. Since I can remember, since I met her when she was in college, my wife was graduating cum laude, dean's list. She had a part-time job at a mall store. And on top of that, because she wanted to learn to earn a little extra money to pay for her books, she got a paper out in the middle of the freaking night. Some of my best memories are going out with my wife delivering papers at two o'clock on a Saturday morning, <laughs> loopy and dead to the world. But honestly, I always remember that some of the most fun I had was, was going out at two o'clock to four o'clock in the morning, delivering the papers. Got to go deliver the papers, deliver the papers. But I, I, I love you, Mrs. Bad. I, I love you to death. And uh, I, none of this is possible. A, a huge thank you. Um, to you for everything that you do for me to, to put up with me because I'm telling you guys and girls off camera I'm the same there is no difference because my favorite thing that my wife says to me all the time is why are you screaming at the TV they can't hear you <laughs> it's like, it makes you laugh because she's right they can't hear me but I'm always like you don't understand it's cathartic it makes me feel good but like I said whether it's YouTube whether it's my job going for promotions you know I, I went for a big promotion I, I was provisional I, I could have gotten knocked out I could have lost my job but she said go for it if you want to you want to advance yourself go for it I'm here to support you being at the gym and, and getting to the point I'm at at the gym and she knows how hard I work on my diet how hard I work the she's there behind me 150 percent like I said in everything I do so if it wasn't for her, I would not be where I am in life. I'd not be where I am on YouTube and the gym, whatever the hell you want to think about it. Every bit of my success is really because of her. So 
I love you, Mrs. Bad Dog. Thank you for everything you do for me. And thank you for giving me the greatest kid in the history of the planet, which is little bad. Like, I, I freaking love that little guy. He's, he's amazing. So, uh, obviously, um, you know, big part of what I do. This next person I'd like to thank doesn't really think too highly of me, to be quite honest with you. Actually, doesn't like me at all. I don't think I'd ever know. But regardless, it all started here. For those of you who don't know, I found YouTube way back in 2007. The sports community was way different when I started. It was just a trash talker community where you just trash talked other video makers. And honestly, there might have been two dozen of us to start, three dozen. But, um, you know, I remember looking for Giants highlights. And I found this young kid by the name of Cop Pizzle. When Cop Pizzle was talking about the Giants. And I said, man. I would love to do what he's doing. He was talking about the Giants, talking a little smack. I said, God, I would love to do that, man. He was a big inspiration to me. And, you know, I got pretty popular with the trash talking thing from 2007 uh, right up to like the middle of 2009. And then I had a lot of things going on. I changed jobs, you know, which is when I started working the job I have now, not the position, but the job I have now. We changed, you know, we moved. There was a lot of things going on, and I just kind of got away from it. And I missed it for a year, and then I didn't miss it at all. And then five years later, when I started this channel in 2014, I went back to YouTube and I saw Cop Pizzle again. And his passion for the Giants always fired me up. And I was like, I got to get back. I, I got to start doing this again. I got to come back and represent the Giants, which was Giants Mafia. Like I said, 2007. Every Giants content creator out there always Cop Pizzle a debt of gratitude. Because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be here. Things would be different. He's been here since 2007, maybe even 2006. I don't remember exactly when he got on YouTube, but he's been here since. He's the longest running Giants content creator or video maker, whatever you want to call it, by far. And his passion for the Giants has always inspired me. And no matter what he thinks of me or what I do on YouTube, I'll always be appreciative of his inspiration for me to even start my channel. Because without Cup Pizzle, like I said, I would never have started this channel. I would have never been here without him. So I'll always, I'll always be extremely grateful, um, you know, for his inspiration for me to start my channel. And like I said, man, Giants fans, uh, yo, yo, I'm a debt of gratitude. I actually think it's cool, you know, when I started in 2007, I was a younger guy, still older. Now I was what in 2007? I was 30, 31. <sighs> Young, I'm 46 now, but cop man, he was, he was a, a college kid. He was in his early twenties. Now he has a, a beautiful family and it, it's cool to see guys grow up and have kids and get married, man. It's, we've been on here a long time. So that's uh, really pretty cool. But I thank you, cop Pizzle. Like I said, man, I don't know how you feel about me, but I'll, I'll always be very appreciative of your inspiration to, uh, for me starting this channel. And like I said, I think every Giants content creator owes you a debt of gratitude because you're the one that really started this thing and you've been here since. And your dedication to the Giants is unquestioned. So I appreciate it very much. Uh, the next uh, guys that I want to thank are the Sports Fury, man. Every single video maker that live streams owes those guys a debt of gratitude. The first ones to do it, the best ones to do it, the biggest ones to do it, Josh and Sean, massive inspiration for the change in direction on my channel. Also kind of getting me off the ground. You know, Philly 500 kind of recommended me to them. Sports Live at the ATL recommended me to those guys. And they said, let's check out Bad Dog. They had me on their channel. They introduced me to a lot of their, you know, their subscribers. A lot of Giants fans came over. They would raid my streams you know, get me started. They would they bring people to my channel to kind of get my footing uh, going. They've always been a huge inspiration to me. When I first saw Josh and Sean doing live streams, I said, oh my God, why am I not doing that? Like, that's my dream is to call play by play. I never thought about ever doing something like that. And I said, well, these guys, you know, these guys got the right idea. Let me do that. Let me just call the play by play and react to it. And they're amazing. They're both great guys. They have a great channel. Like I said, they're the best. I mean, in my opinion, and without Josh and Sean of the sports jury, nobody's streaming. Right? Maybe they, maybe they find it, but it's them. They're the godfathers of the live stream. It's just incredible. And I've watched them grow a lot too. I mean, those guys are almost at 200,000 
subscribers. I think when I found them, they might have been about 40 or 50. They have exploded and they work extremely hard and they'll always be big inspirations to me. And I know, you know, I'm always thankful for guys say, Bad Dog, you inspired me. Bad Dog, you're the reason I do my channel. I know there's a couple of guys out there that have said that, you know, you're the reason I do the channel. You inspire me to do a channel. And that's a great honor to me. But without Josh and Sean, man, I'm not inspiring anybody to do anything. Those guys are phenomenal people. I just worked with Josh uh, the other day on the prediction for the Giants this year. It's been a long time since I'd worked with Josh. We're planning on doing an NBA game together this year. I can't wait because I that'd be awesome. But I, I love work with those guys. Um, you know, like I said, they're just, they're, they're good dudes. They have a great channel and they have been a massive inspiration to what I do. So without Josh and Sean, the silver play button is not sitting on my lap. I thank you guys. Continued success in your channel. I love you fellas. You got really crappy taste in beer, but other than that, man, I love you guys. <laughs> one of these days I'm going to get those guys to drink some of my dirt beer, you know, some of those, uh, those IPAs or whatever, you know, a little, whatever the hell I drink. I don't even know what I drink half the time, but we're going to, we're, we're, we're going to get them to drink one of them. Maybe when I do the, maybe when I do the stream with Sean or I'm sorry, with Josh, we can, uh, we can get Josh to drink something besides a Bud Light. Maybe, maybe, maybe Josh. Maybe I'll drink a Bud Light in that stream and you can drink one of mine. I won't make it drink like one of them horrible IPAs. Maybe like a Sam uh, Sam Adams Oktoberfest if there's still out of stuff. It, it, that's a good beer. We'll, we'll figure something out. But I, I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you for everything you do as far as inspiring me and as far as like building the entire uh, streaming community, the sports community. You guys are amazing and I appreciate it. Um, you know, I thought I had four people. I guess it's just three. This last guy, I mean, he needs no introduction. I think you know who I'm thinking. If you follow my channel for any length of time, where would I be without the entertainer talking sports? My guy, Chris. Not only is Chris the yin to my yang here on YouTube, um, I would consider, and I don't consider really anybody on the internet, like a friend. I consider Chris a friend. Like Chris is a friend. I talk to Chris off of YouTube a lot, you know, I, I, I all the time. I mean, I, I love the guy. Chris is, is, he's my guy. There's no doubt about it. I would never, ever, ever have been here without the entertainer talking sports, who is one of the hardest working guys I know, who's maybe the best Giants content creator out there. I mean, that's a matter of opinion, but in my opinion, I, I think he's phenomenal. I, he does his research. He's very well spoken. He's just a really good dude. Like some guys are just really genuine guys. Um, Chris has always been extremely genuine to me. He's always been the man to me. He's, he's always been fantastic. And I've told this story a lot, but I'm going to tell it again. I'll never forget this. When I was just starting to kind of change channel direction, Chris reached out to me. Chris probably had 700 subscribers. I didn't know who he was. He said, would you like to, would you be interested in working together? I said, sure, because this was brand new. Like there was no stream yard back then. I think we did it on Zoom, if I'm not mistaken. And the first show we did with Talking Giants was recorded. It wasn't live. And the first time I, you know, I was like, yeah, let's do it. And then he had a date and something happened and I couldn't do it. And I was like, sorry, man, I can't make it. Can we do it next week? He's like, sure. And I always thank God that Chris has patience. I thank God Chris has patience with me because you know me, I'm an impatient guy. That's why I think Chris and I work so well together. We, we have the same ideas and we we think 99% of the time we think alike, but we express it completely differently. So it works out perfect. But he said, yeah, we can do it next week. And I always thank God that he, that he said that because next week we work together. He called me literally three minutes before the show. He said, we're just going to do it. And it just worked. It, immediate chemistry. Like the, the few people that commented on it were like, you guys got great chemistry. Um, and I remember the first show he said, I'm hoping that this is going to be a weekly thing. And five years later, Chris and I have, you know, a, a fantastic show. Giants fans are unbelievable. The support that they show us because the Giants have sucked four or five years. And Chris and I started, this is going to be our fifth year. We started doing this in 2018. 
I've loved seeing his channel growth and it's well earned. I mean, he's closing in on 50,000 subscribers. And one of these days he's going to have one of these silver play buttons too. And he would completely deserve it because the man works his ass off. Like I said, he's just a fantastic person. My favorite thing to do on YouTube is that talking giants show. I absolutely love it. And of course I love doing all the games with him because it makes it a lot more fun when you got somebody else there. When your team is complete ass and you're getting blown out 31 to three and you're having minus 10 passing yards and Joe judge is running back-to-back -back quarterback sneaks on your four yard line. So Chris, I thank you, buddy. I, I, you know, wish you nothing but the best continued success. Awesome. That Chris has lost 50 freaking pounds too, man. Chris was up to 248. He's under 200. It's a lot of hard work. Like I said, man, the guy works hard. You don't just drop 50 pounds. You don't just go, man, I wish I dropped 50 pounds and drop it. You got to work. Um, I love you, buddy. I, I, I look forward to doing the Giants show and Giants games with you for many, many, many years to come. And, um, you know, what, what can I say? I, um, you make this a lot of fun for me, man. You, you have made the Giants years as bearable as possible, as bearable as they possibly can be considering we won 22 games in the last five years. But I always appreciate you having patience with me. Cause like I said, I'm very emotional. I fly off the handle. Um, you're a good dude, man. And I, I wish you success in everything you do. Um, because like I said, man, I, I do consider you a friend. I, I do. You're, you're the man. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing the Giants with you on Sunday for sure. And of course, talking Giants will be Friday night. And I hope all you guys and girls are ready for some Giants football because I'm ready for some Giants. Even if we suck, I'm ready for some Giants football. So thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. Um, as far as everybody else goes, what can I say? I would love to thank each and every one of you, but obviously I don't know all 100, 1,000 subscribers, and I'd be here for six weeks if I tried to announce all that. I want to give a special thank you to the Giants community. I'm not going to try to name all the content creators because inevitably I'd miss somebody, and I don't want to leave somebody out and then make them feel like, why'd you not say my name? You guys know who you are. Thank you for continuing to build the Giants community in the best way you know how. Thank you for representing Big Blue the best way you know how. Thank you for representing Big Blue and growing the Giants community on YouTube, even though we absolutely suck. And hopefully things start to turn around this year because how much fun is it going to be, content creators, Giants content, when we're good? It'll all be worth it when we're good. I wish each and every one of the Giants content creators nothing but success. And, and like I said, man, continue your great work on all your channels. I don't, like I said, I'm not going to mention everybody because I'm going to miss somebody and then I don't want to do that. I don't want to alienate anybody, but you guys know who you are. Uh, continued success. Um, real quick, you know, Philly 500. I love you, buddy. You're the man. I, I want to thank, you know, the Eagle fans, the Cowboy fans, the Commander fans. You're some of my best supporters are teams that, that, you know, hate the Giants. I hate the Eagles. I hate the Cowboys. But you guys are there. You're supporting me. Some of my favorite comments are, I'm an Eagles fan, but I love your content, bad dog. You know, I'm a Commanders fan, but I love your content, bad dog. You know, I, I love the, I hate the Giants. I'm a Cowboys fan, but I, I love your channel. I, I love how you're passionate. I love how you're, you're real. You know what I mean? I love how you don't, you're not biased. Like, you're not afraid to call your team out. You're not a homer. You, that type of stuff. Um, you know, I love when they like, I respect you, what you do, you, you do a really good job. So, um, thank you, you know, all you NFL fans that are not giants fans that come in and continue to support the channel it means a world to me. That means a lot, especially when, like I said, when it's Eagles, Cowboys and, and commander fans that obviously hate the giants, but you're there supporting me. And that means a lot to me. Um, I guess last but not, well, I, I do want to say thank you to the Yankee fans. I recently started doing Yankee videos, kind of. I want to do more. Definitely started to do more Yankee stuff this year. We're going to continue to do that forward and start working with more Yankee content creators, especially Pete from NYY News. I love the guy. He's just like me. You Yankee fans, I thank you because you are the ones that kind of got me over the hump. There was one weekend I did. I was so close. I was like 99.5. You know, somewhere in there, 99560. And I did a couple of Yankee videos and you guys blew them up. And that shoved me way over 100,000 because YouTube was taking subscribers away from me left and right. They take 30 away. One of the moderators, shout out to the moderators on my channel, too. You guys and girls know who you are. Shout out to you. Shout out to you for putting up with my shit in the Instagram chat because I was doing a lot of bitching. I was like, YouTube just took 20 subscribers. YouTube took eight subscribers. YouTube keeps taking my subscribers. The Yankee fans, 
pushed me over that 100,000 by a lot. And I knew once I got to like 100,000, 100, I'm like, they ain't taking that money away from me. And then I got certified. And then they said they're sending me the button. I was like, yes. So thank you, Yankee fans. And there's going to be a lot more Yankee stuff on this channel. I, I promise you that, especially next year. We're going to do a lot more, especially the beginning of the year when there is no giant stuff. Uh, last but not least, I guess I would be remiss if I didn't mention this fan base. Especially all my subscribers in the Philippines and across the world. Laker Dog was something that just kind of happened. It just kind of happened. I, I was starting to stream late night basketball games because YouTube was getting in the way of my life. And I said, I can't have that. I said, I got to start streaming later. I got to start streaming after my wife and son go to bed. After I've done everything I have to do for the day, even if it means I get no sleep. The Lakers just happened to be on national television a lot, and I don't remember who said it. Shout out to L.A. Lou for getting me the hat, though, and somebody called me Laker Dog. And as soon as I got called Laker Dog, I said, why don't I just stream the Lakers? Why don't I buy the NBA league pass, and I'm just going to do the Lakers? Never expected it to take off the way it did. We've had as many as 23,000 people in a live stream. It's insane. 23,000 people in a live stream is my record. We've had a bunch of them where it's 12, 15, 18,000 people in there. It's crazy to think that a Knicks fan, which is what I am, would be accepted uh, so greatly in the Laker community. So I thank you, uh, Laker fans, for accepting me as a New Yorker, um, streaming your basketball team and giving you the play-by-play -play and uh, the Lakers kind of give me an escape from my teams, which is why I really do enjoy doing them, even if I do get four hours of sleep. You guys and girls in those streams give me so much energy that I don't give a damn if I get four hours of sleep. I'm going to get up and do it again the next night because you guys and girls make it worth it to me. We have a lot of fun in there, too. I have a lot of fun with everything I do on YouTube, which is why this means so much to me. God bless the people that can do this full time. I can't. This is just a hobby for me, and I never thought – as a, you know, as a hobby, then I would have got to this level. I really thank the hell out of you guys, girls. I can't say it enough. I'm so grateful and so appreciative. Uh, you and a lot of you, a lot of you, you know, I'm going to mention Dire Giants fan. Just, just again, I don't want to omit anybody, but Dire Giants, so many of you do so much. You go way above and beyond for me. You know, Dire Giants fan bought me lighting. He bought me this this Kobe pen. You know, he bought me a chair. He bought me three Laker jerseys and and God knows what else. Like, I, I mean, he's the man. You know, I did a 24-hour stream and the guy's buying memberships for people to my channel. Any of you that are a member of my channel or that donate to my channel, I can't tell you how much that means to me. I don't ask for that. I would never ask anybody to donate. All I ask is that you hit the thumbs up, which you should do right now if you're still watching. You should definitely hit the thumbs up. Hitting the thumbs up and commenting on my video is the best way to support the channel. And if you can stand watching an ad for 15 seconds, I'm not asking you to watch a four-minute commercial, but if you can watch an ad for 15 seconds, that helps me out too. That helps out every content creator. That's for every content creator. You want to help out a content creator the best way you know how? Click the thumbs up when you go to the video. If they have ads and they're monetized, watch the ad for 15 seconds. It ain't going to hurt you. I, I don't get If the ad's four minutes, don't watch it. Watch 15 seconds of it. Trust me, YouTube likes that. That helps the content creator out a lot. But you guys and girls that go above and beyond, and you're way too kind to me. A lot of you, like I said, with the donations, the membership is buying my merchandise. That means the world to me because, again, I don't ask for that. I'm just thankful that you watch my videos. I'm thankful that you subscribe. I'm thankful that you guys and girls allowed me to get to this point where I actually have a silver play button. I never thought it would happen. So thank you all. Let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. Let's see what we got. Don't cut yourself, bad dog. That would not be good. I can't, can't believe it, man. There it is. Bad Dog Sports. 100,000 subscribers. We did it, man. 
we actually made it this far. We're only 899,000 from a million. How about that? <laughs> we'll probably never see that. You never know. Let's get to a million. Tell everybody you know, all 100,000 of you that are subscribed, tell 10 people to subscribe. We'd be in a million tomorrow. But I really do appreciate it. It says, do you remember your first subscriber? This is what it says. Here. This is a letter that comes with it. Let me read this real quick. Do you remember your first subscriber, your 100th or your 1,000th? Chances are you do. And I can tell you Punkum has been around for a long time. Punkum was one of my first subscribers. Shout out to Punkum 733. Been with me since 2007. All right. He says, and it says, and we know you'll definitely remember your 100,000 subscriber. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, maybe showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came across your channel, fans stayed and their numbers increased because of your unique voice and the excitement of being part of the growing community that you established. We are thrilled to see the development of your community and proud to honor your impressive milestone reaching 100,000 subscribers with the Silver Creator Award. Congratulations. We know that you may have more stories to share with your community, and we know that your fans can't wait to engage and amaze them even more with your commitment and creativity. So keep creating, keep building. We can't wait to see what you'll do next, and we're here to support you along the way. And who knows, when you reach your millionth subscriber, we may just write to ask, do you remember your 100,000th subscriber? Um, that is really cool, man. That is really cool. So, again, man, I can't believe it. We did it. One hundred thousand subscribers. Thank you all so much. It means the world to me. I feel like I'm getting an award here. I feel like I just made an award speech. <laughs> I guess I kind of did, but I, I can't believe that actually happened. So again, thank you each and every one of you that made it possible. I really do appreciate it. And, um, hope to see you on the streams. I plan on doing a giants video tomorrow, hopefully. And, um, thank you for watching. I hope you continue to watch, continue to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment below and uh, we will see you next time. 100K, baby. Let's get to a million. It's the Bad Diggity Dizzle. And I'm out.